This is Big Kate, Indiana's famous drag line. Big Kate is a walking drag line that currently operates for Peabody in the state of Indiana. Amazingly, this engineering marvel has been running for more than 50 years. But let's go through more details. Big Kate is a Bucyrus Erie 2570. The machine was completed in 1971 and is one of the last remaining drag line of its size. It was originally designed to operate for 25 years only. With an impressive operating weight of 10 million pounds, or 4,500 metric tons, the famous Big Kate is equipped with a bucket that can fit up to 100 cubic yards of material, the equivalent of 76 cubic meters. In 2019, Big Kate was retired and parked at the site, waiting to be scrapped. But Peabody decided to save the machine, and on March 1, 2022, the sublime piece of equipment was up and running again. Try to guess how many D11s were produced since 1986. Caterpillar's D11 is without a doubt the most famous bulldozer in the world. First released in 86 as the Caterpillar D11N, the machine has since been praised all around the world for its capabilities and its durability. A massive success like this means a lot of volume for the manufacturer. Caterpillar usually produces between 120 and 170 D11s per year which leads to the number that you've been waiting for. 6,000. That's the total amount of D11s produced by CAT since 1986. The 6,000th bulldozer was recently completed in the East Peoria factory, located in Illinois. Quite impressive, don't you think? After 37 years on the market, the Caterpillar D11 is possibly one of the greatest machines ever produced, and this milestone recently achieved is there to prove it one more time incredible iron good news you just won the lottery which machine do you buy right away i'm sure you know your classics so the caterpillar d11 is obviously crossing your mind are you going to spend your first three million bucks on the 112 ton bulldozer but wait a second you may change your mind already maybe you have exotic taste in this case, you'll probably sign your first big check for a Hitachi EX3600, just like this one. It will cost you more than a D11, I can tell you this now. But hey, you can afford it. Of course, there's always the little boy in you craving some off-road goodness on the weekends. That's why you could also go for the Komatsu 930E with its payload of 320 short tons. That should be enough, right? But maybe you love little details and you read books and shit like that in your spare time. In this case, I'm guessing you're gonna go for the Caterpillar 24 motor grader. Am I right? Let's have fun in the comments and tell me what you'd really pick. This is the Caterpillar 345B excavator. This machine was introduced to market in 1998 and this monster of reliability is now considered an old classic machine. Let's go through some good old specs. The 345B had an operating weight of 94,000 pounds, or 43 metric tons. It could be equipped with a bucket of 2.3 cubic yards of maximum capacity, the equivalent of 2 cubic meters. Available in many different configurations ranging from demolition to wood handling, the 345B was equipped with Caterpillar's 3176 engine that developed up to 290 horsepower. Replaced by the 345C after many years of good service, the Caterpillar 345B is by far one of the most achieved machines ever released by the brand. It's also by far one of my personal favorites. This is the biggest hydraulic excavator ever built. This is the Caterpillar 6090FS. This gigantic excavator, originally designed and produced by O&K under the reference RH400, is the largest hydraulic excavator ever made. With an operating weight of just about 1,000 metric tons, the 6090FS can be equipped with a bucket of 52 cubic meters of maximum capacity, the equivalent of 68 cubic yards. It moves 103 tons in one scoop. While the operator sits 28 feet above the ground, the 6090FS runs thanks to two Cummins engines that develop a total of 4,500 horsepower and it take a 4,000-gallon fuel tank to keep it running. A 
A few years ago, Caterpillar discontinued the 6090 FS, which was only produced in shovel configuration. Very few of them are still running today. A sublime engineering marvel that will soon disappear forever. It only took five years for Chinese to complete this $32 billion dam. The massive Baihetan Dam is a hydroelectric dam on the Jinsha River, an upper stretch of the Yangtze River in southwest China. This also happens to be the second largest hydropower plant in the whole world. Let's go through more details. The gigantic structure is a 289 meter tall double curvature arch dam with a crest elevation of 827 meters and a width of 72 meters at the base and 13 meters at the crest. The hydropower station is equipped with 16 hydro generating units that each have a capacity of 1 million kilowatts, making it the largest single unit capacity globally. All units became operational in December 2022. It required 50,000 workers to complete this insane project, which costed just about 32 billion US dollars. It only took five years from beginning to end to complete the dam. Something we're clearly not used to anymore, right? So what do we know about the Caterpillar D12? So every time a video gets posted about the Caterpillar D11 dozer, the comment section fills up with people asking about the D12. While some think it's on the way, Others are convinced we'll never see one. Here's what we know. The only D12s that ever existed are in Australia. They're unofficial D12s since the company Mearns Hire completely customized a pair of D11s to achieve that result. Caterpillar has never been involved in this amazing project. A few years ago, some people reported on the internet that Cat was testing two D12 prototypes in Canada's oil sands. This was fake news. Just as fake as the reports claiming that Caterpillar had tested some D12s in Australia back in the early 2000s. The truth is there's currently no need for a D12, which would involve substantial engineering challenges. The same challenges faced by Komatsu with their old and famous D575. There's no D12 on the way, guys. This is the story of good old JCB. Founded in 1945 by Joseph Cyril Bamford in the UK, JCB is an absolute British staple. The word is so famous in the country that it's used colloquially as a generic description for excavators. In 1948, JCB made the first hydraulic tipping trailer in Europe. In 1953, Bamford developed JCB's first backhoe loader. By 1964, the brand was selling over 3,000 backhoe loaders annually. The British company currently employs 11,000 workers worldwide and the brand generates between six and seven billion US dollars per year in gross revenue, which makes it one of the top 10 manufacturers in the world. A few years ago, three out of every four pieces of construction equipment sold in India was a JCB. JCB-based memes have also become prevalent in the country. So who currently runs a JCB? Let me know in the comments. You're not gonna call the PC360 a piece of shit, are you? The Komatsu PC360 is an excavator designed to compete with machines such as the Caterpillar 336 or the Liebherr 936. It is one of the best-selling diggers in the world. Let's go through some specs. You probably guessed it already, but the PC360 has an operating weight of 36 metric tons, or 80,000 pounds. The excavator can be equipped with a bucket of 2.56 cubic yards of maximum capacity. Underneath its hood, you will find an engine that develops 257 horsepower, or 192 kilowatts. The machine is available in many different configurations, such as dredging, wood handling, or even demolition. The PC360 has been on the market for as long as I can remember. Is it one of Komatsu's best products ever? Is it better than a Caterpillar 336? You guys let me know in the comments. Peacefully, LOL.